<laughs> so many demons came to my concert today, too. They all want to hear my brainwashing song. Yep, yep. Zone in on me. Let your minds overflow with thoughts of me. If everyone does that, no one will have a problem with me becoming the overlord. Just as I thought. Who are you? The press? No! I'm Overlord Laharl! Oh, you're the Overlord? Did you hear all that? Say it ain't so, Lanza! You weren't singing to become the Overlord, were you? Now do you see how foolish you were? No demon would work hard just for their fans. Being a demon is all about being selfish. I was doing. Why else would I put up with all this crap? It's all to make Lanza the Overlord. And there goes her fake persona. <gasps> Lanza! Well, anyway, since you came out on stage, I'll just beat you up right here. And when the concert starts, I'll announce my new overlordship to all my fans. This concert is being broadcast all over the netherworld. It'll be all over the news. You're just a pitiful idol. Do you really think you can beat me? Don't take me lightly. This body was trained by years of singing and dancing lessons. Time has come to unleash its full potential. Well, that's interesting. Let's see what you've got.
week! Yes! Now! I can do it! Let's play! I will beat you down! I won't lose! Let's go!
The way of the fist never ends! Wait! tried to undermine the Overlord. That is a serious crime, you know? What are you doing? She's not the innocent idol you thought she was. That may be true, but I can't bring myself to hate her. I didn't know what to do when I found out I couldn't be the Overlord. No one believes that I'm your little sister, so I can never really tell if I was welcome here. Sicily. That's when I heard Lanza's song. Watching her sing with that bright smile of hers made me feel so much better. That's why. Why what? Ah, that's enough, Laharl. Don't you ever think about her feelings? I don't need to. 
I can't let a demon who's trying to steal my throne run around loose. Hey! Lanzarote! Please, I'll do anything. Just please spare me. Okay then. From this point forward, you can be in charge of taking care of that angel. What? what? You, you'll really forgive me if I do that? If you don't want to, I'll just kill you right now and be done with it. I, I got this over Lord Laharl. Lanza will work really hard. Are you sure that's a good idea? She might try to attack you or something to become the Overlord again. I'd rather have her do it that way than sneaking around behind my back. Besides, I can make her sing songs about me to make me more popular. Right. Whatever you say. Thank you, big brother! Oh, don't get me wrong. I didn't do it for you. And don't ever say thank you! It makes my skin crawl! Okay! Thank you! You really don't get it, do you? Oh! What are we going to do? The concert is about to begin! No problem! Since I'm feeling generous today, I'll let them all hear my beautiful singing voice. Surprisingly, Laharl's singing was an unexpected hit with the demons. But after the concert, he turned back into a guy, and her voice was never heard again. This concert came to be known as the Legendary Unknown Princess Concert, and was talked about for many years. turns back into a guy, but is then altered by a mysterious organization. It's a slight blunder on Laharl's part. That's not really slight. And now that the super cute demon gal Etna is back to being the top idol, she begins to take down the organization. Being an idol has nothing to do with that. The mastermind is finally cornered. The person's identity is... Oh, I'm so curious. Next time on Neon Genesis at Galleon, Episode 5, Girl Next Door Etna is back. The organization is still full of mysteries. Wait!